Hey, what's up everybody? CloudCord here. Ableton just announced the Live 12 public beta, and I wanna give you my hot take of five things that I like about these new updates. Okay, so I actually get most excited about practical updates because I'm a professional musician and performer, so I'm always looking for ways to quicken my workflow. Let's check out this one. In the look and feel area of things, okay, down here, look, I got a drum rack, um, and as normal, we can toggle back and forth between the MIDI clip and the devices, right? But hold on, we can do double device view. So now we can edit our MIDI and edit our device at the same time. And But wait, there's more down here in the right hand corner. We can also enable the mixer view when inside arrangement. So check this out from a workflow. We can come and go from the mixer, the MIDI clip or the audio clip and the actual devices we're using for sounds all in the same view and we can toggle them on and off really easy and quickly. Huge game changer, I think. Okay, so if you're like me, you like to move quickly in and out of the browser as fast as possible, get the sound or the device you're looking for. Huge update, now we have tags and filters. Devices that come with live themselves come with tags. You can create your own tags, your own filters. There's even a search history. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough on this browser update in the near future. So look for that. Be sure to like and subscribe to check out my making the browser sexy upcoming tutorial. Speaking of updated browser, check this guy out. But this new little cute little button here swapping similar sounds. You like a respace, you can swap between respaces. Got a certain pad sound, you can swap between like pad sounds. That is gonna be super tight. I'm gonna make a tutorial on that one too. All right, here's something exciting. A new saturator device called Roar. Ableton described it as drum bus, but with a little bit more versatility. So check this out. You can have multiple stages. There's an entire pop-out menu for modulation. Man, sky's the limit on this one. I am going to be incorporating this into some Ableton Live 12 guitar amps. All right, this one goes back to me being a lover of simple functional updates. All right, I wanna freeze and flatten these brushes, right? So I used to have to freeze and flatten two different things. Now we can do it all at once. And one other thing about this freeze and flatten, one level of undo just brings it back to frozen. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, all kinds of new things in our clip view. But what I want to talk about right now is this transformation tool. And now look, I got this menu, I can do time warp, I can do span. I wanna talk about arpeggi at this exact moment. So check this out, I got a little pad, two chords. Nice enough, right? Gonna select them all and let's say uh, style goes up in two steps. We'll do eighth note and let's hit transform and see what happens. Boom, instant arpeggios. Definitely something I wanna work with more and get better and faster at, but hey, kind of a game changer for adding arpeggiated parts on top of chord progressions that you already have dialed in your tune. Super cool. Transformation tools. All right, there's so much here that I'm gonna get into into future episodes. I haven't even gotten into scale mode. There's performance pack tools that are gonna be super clutch for those of you that play live shows. But one thing, that Ableton has left out in past updates that I'm like, thank God, it's sometimes it's the little things. Check this out. We go to our display and input in the preferences and we do our zoom. Down. Look at that, the preferences goes with the size. I don't know, that was something that always bugged me. You could be way zoomed in and then your preferences is tiny. So look at that. Preferences, zooms and unzooms with the rest of the GUI. I think it's amazing. All right, so I got some brand new guitar amps coming out very soon, and I'm gonna do some deep dives 
into all these new features here and how they work with you if you're an instrumentalist and how they work with you and your flow if you're using push two or push three. So be sure to like and subscribe because I will be back very soon. Thanks for watching.